so you finally decided you want to start streaming good on you but you don't have a gaming pc or a pc at all but you have an xbox well you're in luck because today i'm going to show you how you can set up your xbox and stream to twitch directly from your console this is going to be a two-part series next week i'm going to show you how to do it on a playstation but in this video you have an xbox one or an xbox series x i'm going to show you how to stream to twitch without a pc directly from your console and it's super easy to set up so if you like the video leave a like down below and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet hit the subscribe button it shows me that you guys like my videos and you want me to make more of them for you i also stream live on twitch every tuesday wednesday and thursday at noon central standard time we do a lot of just chatting so if you have any more questions that i can answer for you hop on by the stream and let's talk about it all right, so what you need for this to work is a stable internet connection, an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X console, a microphone, and optionally, but preferably a webcam. Now you can get away with not streaming with a webcam for a while until you can make the upgrade to a PC or you find the confidence to use a webcam. There's nothing wrong with no cam streams, but I will say this, people do prefer a webcam and they like to see the streamer that they're interacting with and how they react to the gameplay or things said in chat. So the nice thing about streaming from an Xbox console is that you can use a webcam, any webcam for that matter. Unlike the PlayStation, you don't need a Microsoft branded webcam or anything like that, like a Kinect. You can use a Logitech C920 or Razer Keo or any webcam really. As long as it connects via USB to your console, you're good to go. Now for your microphone, it's not as easy as just plugging in a USB mic like a Blue Yeti. You have to use a microphone that uses a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is usually your headset that comes with a microphone on it. So I would try to invest in a headset that has good microphone audio quality. Just search YouTube or Google and see which ones come up. But for now, since you're streaming directly from your console, you're gonna have to make do with that. But as long as you're clear and people can understand you, you're good to go. And obviously you're gonna need a Twitch account, but once you have all that set up, you're good to go. So let's jump on over my desktop and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to set it all up and get ready to go live for your Twitch viewers. All right guys, so once you're on your Xbox and you've tested your internet connection and you've connected your camera to your Xbox itself, what you have to do is go to Twitch on your Xbox. So just go to the Twitch app, click on that. And then once you're here, go up top where it says sign in and click on sign in. And then all you're going to do is sign into your Twitch account that you want to stream from. And once you log in through your phone and activate your Twitch account on your Xbox, then you're all set. Go up top where it says broadcast and click on that. And then this is what you're going to see. So the first thing up here is destination, or if you click on that, you can click on light stream or you can click on Twitch. Since this is a video on how to stream to Twitch, make sure that Twitch is enabled. Now, I don't have a camera connected to my Xbox currently for this video, unfortunately, but if you did, it would show in the camera position. You can change the position of your camera on your screen for your viewers. And then for the broadcast bar position, if you click on that, you can position it where you would like. We're just gonna keep ours on the bottom right. And then for microphone, if you have one connected, which again, I don't have one connected right now to my Xbox because I actually don't have a headset for my Xbox but it would not be grayed out and then you would be able to use that slider to make your microphone quieter or louder. You can even do the same thing for your party chat. So if you have your friends in a party chat with you, you can actually quiet them down for your stream or you can mute them for your stream. And then you can do the same thing for your game. What I would do is I would set the microphone level for yourself to be 100 and then your game at 80, or you can keep the game at 100 and then within the game, what you can do is you can have the audio lowered so that it's not too loud and drowning out your voice for your viewers. Now for bitrate, this is all dependent on how good your internet is. For instance, 6,000 is the limit on bitrate. So that's if you have like really good internet speeds. Personally, on my streams, I have mine set to 3,500. But if you don't know your internet speeds, that's totally okay. Just click on the automatic button right here. And then your Xbox is going to test your broadcast quality. And for mine, since I have a thousand up, thousand down, it's going to max out that bit rate. But since I don't like having a 6,000 bit rate, I'm going to turn mine down to around 4,000. And even on my computer and my normal streams, I set mine to 3,500 to 4,000, just so that it doesn't affect that many people or it doesn't buffer for some people. And then for your stream resolution, you can set it right here. 
personally, what I do, even my streams that I run through my PC, I have mine set to 720 because as a Twitch affiliate, you do not get encoding, meaning your viewers will not be able to change the resolution of your stream if they watch it on their phone or their computer. So let's say you set it to 1080p and you have some people that are using mobile data trying to watch you, but they can't stream at 1080p reliably. They'll probably shut off your stream. So if you want to maximize your viewers, I would just say bump it down to 720p and you'll be set. Most people can stream 720p reliably. And then over on the left hand side, this is where you're going to put your title so you can title it whatever. I suggest something catchy or a joke to bring people in. But for now, we're just going to call it test stream. And then you can set your language right here. So whatever language you speak, you can set it right here. I'm going to set it to English. And then for the game, the game will appear once you switch over to it on your console. So it'll automatically detect the game you're playing and put you in that category. And then once you're all set right here, just click on start streaming and then your stream's ready to go. And then you'll see at the bottom right that it shows your viewer count and how long your stream duration is going. And then if I were you, I would download the mobile app for Twitch on your phone so that you can read chat. And then as you can see right here, we're live on the Twitch account. And then as you can see, we have our test stream title and the game that automatically gets picked up when you switch over to it on your Xbox. And that's all you have to do. It's that easy. And then to end stream, just switch back over to the Twitch app on your Xbox, go down to where it says stop streaming and then click on stop streaming. And then your stream's over. And that's it guys, that's all you need to do to stream directly from an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X console to Twitch. And a couple of things I wanna say, don't get discouraged if you're streaming directly from a console and you don't have a nice gaming rig or an amazing PC. I know a few streamers that stream directly from their console and you wouldn't believe me if I told you, but they stream on average to 90 plus people. It's not about the gear that you have, but it's about the quality of your stream. And no, I'm not talking about camera quality. I'm talking about you, you as a streamer, you as a person, quality that you bring to your streams. So if you're just starting off and this is all you can do, don't worry about it because it's really not the gear. It's the streamer. Work on yourself, work on becoming a better streamer. And then down the line, when you can't afford better gear, go for it, upgrade it because gear does matter down the road, but it's not the end all be all. Let me know in the comment section down below, what console are you streaming from? And again, if you're a PlayStation user, next week's video is going to be showing you how to stream directly from a PlayStation console. But guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you at the next video.